and we're back with chapter 11, lecture one. Uh, I want to talk about collisions. I want to describe them. I want to um, define them broadly uh, and then talk about some of the specific details that we're going to continue to use. So generally, we think of a collision as a really short but intense interaction between two objects, two or more objects. We could have uh, multi-object collisions, uh, many object collisions, but generally they're very short duration interactions um, and, uh, and likely there's contact. Um, we can think about um, gravitational collisions um, if you want to think about it that way. That's a long range force um, that, that, that doesn't need contact, but more often than not when we're talking about collisions in a chapter 11 kind of sense we're going to be thinking about uh, uh, contact something hitting something else um, so this already sounds like kind of like forces right that there are two things kind of interacting exchanging something there's contact um, it sounds like forces uh, and when we think about the the forces involved they're usually very short uh, but large forces interaction forces um, so if we think about this if we start to to formulate this out these forces are really time dependent they're time dependent so what we can say is that i have m uh oh, that's a thick marker here why don't we bring that down i have m a uh, and of course, if I sh you know break open to your apartment at three o'clock in the morning and shake you awake and say, "What'd you learn in physics one?" You'd be able to tell me two things: one, f equals ma, so ma equals our f here, right? And kinetic energy is one half mv squared, right? So I have f, but that's not actually where I'm 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 leading to yet, leading to yet. So I have f uh, f a a is a vector equals, uh, let's break that a apart a little bit. The definition of an acceleration is really a change in velocity versus time. So I can rewrite that as dv dt. And of course, v is still a vector, right? v points in a specific direction. Now this is what we're going to say is f as a function of t, of time, right? So, so these forces that we're talking about, they're time dependent. Um, they interact over short amounts of time, and generally, they're not constant in that time period. Um, we'll generalize and we'll, we'll approximate things to be kind of constant, um, and when we can't do that, we'll say, what's the average? We'll talk about that in a bit. Um, but this is a, a good jumping off place. Let's, let's focus in on um, the, this, these, other, these two um, expressions here. If I, if I break this uh, dvdt apart and actually throw dt on the other side, um, I can say m dv equals f of t times dt. And it's only a short jump to say, well, what if we integrate both sides? If I integrate both sides, um, I'm going to see that I get, and, and it's going to be a, a definite integral here. I'm not writing out the bounds in this step right now, but, but it's going to be a definite integral. So I'm going to say m v f minus m oops, m v i, right? That is my uh, evaluation of the integral on the left hand side. On the right hand side, uh, I'm going to leave it as an integral. I'm going to say from t1 to t2, or t i to t f of f of t dt, right? I don't know what the functional form that f is going to take, so I'm just going to leave it as this integral here. Um, now, if I think about this, uh, this right-hand side, that actually looks kind of familiar, right? That almost looks like a, a, a work, right? That almost looks like a work. When we think about work here, right, we said that I have some integral of f dot dx, right, where I have some, some displacement here. Now, the dot product is a little tricky, right? But it's not hard to say, well, it's f is, is a function of, f, of x. Um, and so, so we have a very similar kind of uh, situation here. And I'm going to have you know, x, uh, x1 to x2 or, or something like that. Now, that was equal to the change in uh, kinetic energy, one half k, uh, one half m v squared, right? 
In this case, I have this change of something else, right? This change of something else. I have this change of velocity and mass here, the product of the two. We're going to call that something special. We're going to call this the change in momentum. All right, so this is our change in momentum. This is a, a measure of how much um, our system has, has changed moving, right, movement-wise, uh, due to some applied force. So that is the basis of a collision, right? Um, I'm going to pause here. I'm going to let you kind of digest that a little bit. We're going to pick it up next time uh, and start talking about momentum a little bit more. What is momentum? What is change of momentum? And start to define all these different things, uh, including impulse. So uh, that's where I want to leave it for this video. Um, if you're still hungry for more, jump into the next one. If you need a second, need a breather, that's great. I'll see you in just a second. All right. Thanks.